Some congressional lawmakers are behaving badly these days. Maybe that's not news, but it does seem to have intensified on Capitol Hill lately. Congressional correspondent Aisha Hazni joins us with what may happen after one of the more contentious days up on the Hill in a while. Good evening, Aisha. Good evening to you, Brett. I would call it a very bizarre day on Capitol Hill. And it all started when Congressman Tim Burchett, uh, one of the eight people who voted to oust former Speaker Kevin McCarthy, basically accused him of assault. Kevin McCarthy walked by and he elbowed me in the kidneys as he walked by. And, um, and I, 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 it kind of caught me off guard. You felt, felt it was on purpose and not an accident. Oh, accident. 100% on purpose, man. What are the chances? So Florida Republican Congressman Matt Gates, in return, he was also one of those who voted to oust McCarthy, led the charge, has now filed a formal ethics complaint against the former speaker. McCarthy, though, is denying anything deliberate happened. I guess our shoulders hit. I did not run and hit the guy. I did not kidney punch him. I did not shoot anything like that. You didn't shove him. No. Had some farm so tensions spilled over as well at a House oversight hearing, Brett, as Republican Chairman James Comer lost it on Democrat Congressman Jared Moskowitz. You look like a Smurf here. Mr. Chairman, this seems, to have, gotten under your, this seems to have gotten under your skin. I'll, you've already been proven a liar. Today. Who's proven me a liar? You? Yes. Sit down, please. And it wasn't just the House. Over at a Senate hearing, a simmering feud almost broke out into a fist fight when Republican Senator Mark Wayne Mullen confronted Teamsters President Sean O'Brien about a social media post. You want to run your mouth? We can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, stop it. Is that your solution every poll? No, no, sit down. Sorry, Eric, sit down. Look at you. You know, you're a United States senator. And Brett, some are now wondering, perhaps this is all happening, tensions are sky high, just because both chambers have been in session way too long. The House, 10 weeks straight. The Senate, five weeks straight, which for both of them is a very long time. Brett. Aisha Hazni, Love on the Hill. I should thank.